The trend cycle is a wild thing. When I was a teenager, chunky sneakers and bucket hats and sweater vests were things that only my dad wore. And now they're considered trendy and cool and stylish and they're all over Instagram. I thought it would be fun to tr try and get ahead of the trend cycle by styling clothes and accessories that are widely hated now to see if I can make them cute and, and trendy today. So I posted some polls on Instagram asking you guys what you thought of eight different styles that I thought could be good contenders for this video. And usually I would pick the things that you guys liked the most. But for this one, I went with the four items that had the most votes against them. So I'm gonna try and style some clothes that you guys hate. <laughs> and before we get into it, a quick thank you to the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is a great place to really invest in yourself and your personal growth. It's this online learning community with thousands of creative and inspiring classes for anyone who loves to learn. If you have a new skill that you've been wanting to learn, or even if you're just looking for a new hobby, Skillshare is a great place to start. I've been using Skillshare for years. I first got interested in it actually when I was pretty early on in my YouTube career. I was just trying to learn everything everything I could about making videos and Skillshare has this amazing wealth of information that was so helpful for me. And now I've continued to use it for both work stuff and just personal growth and personal skills. One of my all time favorites is this photography class I took by Jessica Cabasi, portrait photography, shoot and edit Instagram worthy shots. It was just so helpful and really practical. Like there are so many of her tips that we just use in like every shoot now. So the first thousand of my viewers who sign up using the code Sierra Schultze, or just from my link in the description box, we'll get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Okay, so in planning for this video, I really tried to go in with the mindset of like trying to find the next chunky sneaker, the next bucket hat. And I honestly think that visors could be it. <laughs> But apparently you guys don't because 79% of you voted ew. But here's what I'm thinking with it. Like a pastel tennis court country club kind of vibe. And I found exactly what I was looking for in an unexpected place. I found a rave website that had all of these different colored visors, but they're clear. And I kind of have a vision for it. I think it could be really cute. Maybe not now, but a little bit of styling. Okay, maybe not. I'm seeing myself in the viewfinder and now I'm having second thoughts. Kenzie and Jess are looking at me. But we have to try, we're in too deep. Okay, so here's everything that I pulled that I thought could be a good fit for styling all these different trends. Now, I really wanna play into the whole like tennis vibe of this. I think that could work really well. So I have this little white tennis skirt. And then I was thinking white crop top or white sports bra. Or honestly, if I wanna go full Sharpay Evans pink sports bra. See, I feel like this is gonna be a vibe. And then I was thinking I'd wear like a zip up jacket open or tie it around my neck to be like just a preppy little, more of an accessory really. Okay, so here is my first attempt. Honestly, I am really feeling myself in this. I think it looks so cute, but I kind of think it looks cute in spite of the visor and and not because of the visor, if that makes sense. Without the visor, it's a safer choice, but the visor does make it more unique. Also, I'm not totally sure about like the peach zip up with the pink visor. It kinda works, but I think it could be better. L let's try another combination. Okay, here it is with a different jacket option, and this time I tied it around my shoulders. I think this works pretty well too, but let's try the pink. Okay, so the pink is really fun. <laughs> I do really like it, but I don't really have a, a jacket that goes super well with it. This is the closest. And it's a quarter zip, so I, I kind of have to tie it around my shoulders, otherwise you won't see the bra. And I feel like it just looks a little too bulky like this, so I actually think I'm gonna go with the first outfit. Okay, yep, th this is what I'm gonna go with. First, I, I think it's the cutest. And second, I think this is the most like attainable way to style it for me. It feels realistic, like I could actually see myself wearing this together. Still not fully sold on the visor, but let's head out and take some pictures in this. And I think we're gonna hit around some tennis balls too. It feels like a very tennis -y outfit. So I, I think it's fitting and we'll, we'll see if the visor grows on me. <laughs> okay, not gonna lie. And now that I'm like at the tennis court, I'm really feeling the visor. It's completely impractical. It doesn't block the sun at all. And honestly, it kind of obstructs my vision, but like it's cute and it matches my racket. <laughs> this is always the most satisfying part. Delicious. All right, now let's hit some balls and take some pictures. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, I fully went into this outfit being like, I'm not gonna like the visor. The visor is gonna be a no. But honestly, I like the visor. At least for this kind of like preppy tennis look. I think it adds a lot to the outfit and I actually really like it. Also, visors are something that I actually really can see becoming like the next bucket hat. I might not be able to like fully pull it off with my everyday style, but I really like it for this kind of look. And I could also see the very like effortless, cool girl, kind of Emma Chamberlain aspect style picking up the visor in like a year or so not gonna lie though the one part that I still just cannot get past is this little lip right here I feel like it makes the visor look just so much more ridiculous <laughs> So our next trend was heavily inspired by my older brother. When we were growing up, he had a pair of those zip off cargo pants to shorts that I feel like a, a lot of boys in the early 2000s did. And I roasted him for them. I was like, what, what are you wearing? Pants or shorts? You need to decide. <laughs> but honestly, now growing up, you know, some self-reflection, we love personal growth. I see the appeal. They seem, they seem functional. You know, you get a little hot, you zip them off, no need to change. I'm low key here for it. And also, so I keep getting this TikTok ad for these three toned ones from Outdoor Voices. And I think these look very cool. Like I was, I was fully on board to buy these, but unfortunately they don't come in plus sizes. They only go up to an XL. So Outdoor Voices, if you see this, please expand to plus sizes. I will absolutely be a customer. I did end up finding a pair of plus size zip off pants on REI though. So I ordered them in a size 20. Here they are. I'm gonna say it. I think they look pretty cool. <laughs> like cargo pants are kind of in right now. The zip offs seem to be blended in pretty nicely. They've got lots of pockets, a built-in belt. And I feel like in the green, they kind of give me Kim Possible vibes. <laughs> but I understand I have a lot to prove. 65% of you on Instagram said, no, no, no. <laughs> so we'll see if I can change your mind. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> I'm just like a middle school boy. <laughs> I thought tucking a little black t-shirt into the cargo pants could be a cute look. You know, a little outdoorsy Kim Possible vibe. And I was just so wrong. <laughs> I hate the way this looks. I do not feel cute. I do not feel confident. I gotta figure out another way to style these because I just, this is just a hard no for me. <laughs> okay, so just in a sports bra, I think is better. <laughs> but also I just, I'm not the biggest fan of the way these pants fit me. Like even though I feel like the fit in the waist and the legs is good, the fabric just really gathers at the crotch, which I don't really like aesthetically, but also it's just not very comfortable. And then I have to keep in mind too, that this is also going to be a shorts look. I'm going to shed half of this and I feel like I'm going to dislike it even more <laughs> when it's shorts. Okay. I'm still not crazy about this styling, but it's definitely the best that I've tried so far. I have a little white tank top and the flannel that I actually got at Bass Pro Shops for that video. So leaning into the outdoorsy vibe, I, I think this th this is okay. <laughs> not great, but not as, not as bad as where we started. <laughs> or at least not as middle school boy. <laughs> okay, I like this much better too. This, this is kind of what I was trying to go for with the first attempt in the black t-shirt. But I think this one being, you know, just a cuter graphic tee, a little more feminine, and then also tying it up, really tones down the middle school boy vibes. <laughs> and it's also very comfortable. This feels more along the lines of something I would actually wear. So I think this is what I'm gonna go with. So we are going out on a little family walk. So we can test out not only the fashion of these pants, but the function. How, how great are the zip offs? We'll find out. It's been a lovely hike, but I, I am getting a little hot. It's a warm day. I think it's time to make use of the zip offs. <laughs> this feels so weird. <laughs> Steven just yelled at me for stripping in public. <laughs> they, they actually feel a lot more comfortable like this, but I have like no idea what they look like because I haven't seen them in a mirror. So let's take some pictures. Okay, zipping off the pants just took me from middle school boy to camp counselor. I am not the biggest fan of the length of these shorts. I wish the zip off was shorter. All right. 
right, I'm gonna go ahead and say I am not on board with trying to make zip off pants cool. I'm not here for it. I'm not a big fan of the look, either zipped or unzipped. And while I do like being able to convert my pants to shorts when I get hot, the zippers are kind of uncomfortable, especially like in the car on the way here. Sitting down, the zipper really was digging into my thigh. So yeah, the zip off pants, not, no. Let's not make it happen. So the next thing we're gonna try and style is Uggs with shorts. 80% of you said, girl, no. But here's the thing that some of you guys might know, some of you guys who've been on my channel longer, some of you may not. Um, I was an Uggs with shorts girl in high school. <laughs> I loved wearing short denim shorts with Ugg boots like every day, like that was my signature look. <laughs> Even back then, I would say it was not widely popular. I definitely got roasted about it. And the thing is, I don't really know if I ever like outgrew this style or if I just succumbed to the roasting. But I wanna try it again. I wanna try and actually make it cute and trendy. And um, I have no packages to open because I don't need to buy anything from this. It's 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 right in my wheelhouse. <laughs> okay, so here's my first attempt at the Uggs with shorts outfit. And honestly, I like it. I think it's cute. I think it's comfy. My feet get to be toasty without the rest of my body getting hot and sweaty. For the San Diego climate, it really is just perfect. <laughs> but we already knew that, right? We knew I was gonna like it. I have to convince you guys that this is gonna be a cool trend. <laughs> so I do like this first attempt, but I pulled another top option. So let's try that. So here's my second choice. We have a little white button up and brown tank top and I do like this and honestly I would wear this together just on a normal day I think it's cute I like the first outfit better so let's go with that I'm gonna pick some accessories to really try and pull the outfit together and we'll see if I can get you guys on board for the the Uggs with the shorts <laughs> y'all this is the best my feet are so comfy <laughs> Okay, maybe my love of Uggs is blinding me, but honestly, I feel like these photos are really cute. I like this outfit in person. Like, I feel so comfortable in it. I feel confident in it. It feels like me. And also, I feel like in the photos, that excitement translates. I know people love to hate on the Uggs with shorts, but I really do, I do think it's cute. <laughs> That's the thing, you know, trends come and go. What really matters is how your clothes make you feel. And these clothes make me feel really cute and happy and confident. So you know what? I don't know if Uggs with shorts is necessarily gonna be the next big trend. I honestly don't think it will be, but I like it and I think it's cute. And I think I, I might start wearing my Uggs more. <laughs> they're comfy, they're cozy, my toes are warm and cushy. And honestly, I, I was trying to think if I wasn't wearing the Uggs, what shoes would I wear with this outfit? And I I think probably just like my Birkenstocks or a pair of sneakers. And I think the Uggs look cuter than those would. So Uggs with shorts is a hit for me, but I, I don't think it's gonna be the next big trend. I think people think it's too chooky. And that's okay, I'm kinda chooky. <laughs> So our last trend is the one that you guys hated the most, low rise jeans. 93% of you said no way. And honestly, I am fully in that 93%. I way prefer high rise jeans and I've tried like a low rise skinny jean for a video before. I think it was when I tested my fashion fears and I, I just, I didn't like the jean. Like I was fine with it. I do feel like I, you know, I kind of conquered the fear, but I still would never choose to wear it. I don't, I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the way it fits. I don't like the way it feels. So if I'm going to give this trend a fair shot, I thought it would be good to try try like a different style of low rise jean. And I think the flares are kind of cool. Like they give me very 2000s, very Lizzie McGuire vibes. So I started looking around for low rise jeans in that style and I found a ton of cute options, literally none of which came in plus sizes. So that, that was a little bit of a bummer, but I kept looking, I was very determined and I ended up finding two pairs, one on American Eagle and one on Fashion Nova, both of which came in a size 20. So I actually decided to order both. Last time I tried the low rise jeans, I saw 
saw some feedback on the video saying that they weren't like really low rise, they were more of a mid rise. So this time we're going for like low, low, low rise. And I figured I'd order both and pick whichever ones are the lowest rise to actually try and style. So here we have them. We have, I think these ones, yes, these are the Fashion Nova. They've got the flare leg, kind of like a light to medium wash. And that does not, Hold on. Yeah, peace and love, low rise flare jeans. This looks like a higher waist than I would expect, but maybe they'll, they'll look different when I put them on. And then the American Eagle jeans. These feel like really nice, like very stretchy and soft. They've got the wide leg. I guess more wide ankle. They're like fitted in the leg. These look high rise too. <laughs> low rise flare, next level stretch. I feel like I need a measuring tape. <laughs> These both don't look particularly, okay, let's let's go try them on, hold on. <laughs> okay, these are not low rise. I don't understand how any interpretation of these jeans can be low rise. My belly button is literally here. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I think they're a cute pair of jeans. Too long on the bottom, but they fit great in my waist and my thighs. And I actually really like the flare style and I don't have any jeans like this, <laughs> but there is no world in which this is low rise. <laughs> it's not even close. It's not even a mid rise. These are just high rise. Okay, I I've got I've got to try the American Eagle ones. Hold on. Okay, here are the American Eagle jeans. I think they are cute as heck. They fit great everywhere. I love the look. I actually I think flare jeans might become my new thing. They are awesome, but they are absolutely not low rise. They hit right below my belly button. This is like a, a normal rise of jean that I would buy. So I just did some digging. I I, th I thought for sure I must have like ordered the wrong thing or they sent the wrong thing. No, on both of the websites, they specifically are listed as low rise. In the description of the American Eagle jeans, it says they're a 9.5 inch low rise. For Fashion Nova, it said eight inch low rise for standard and 11.5 inch low rise for plus, which seems like kind of a big adjustment for plus size. Like I, I wouldn't expect to need that big of a difference in rise. Also, I Googled what is technically considered low rise and the internet said seven to eight inches. So these are, these are already like, not even really low rise based on their measurements, but I measured them. We Googled how to properly measure rise. It's from the, the crotch point to the top. The American Eagle ones were 12 inches and the Fashion Nova were 12.5. So these just aren't low rise. Like also I am pretty short torsoed. So like it makes sense that they'd fit a little bit higher on me, but not to this extent. And I feel like part of it is probably just that low rise jeans aren't really on trend right now. So brands are skewing towards a higher rise, but also there could be an element to it that like these brands don't really know how to make a low rise jean for a plus size body. Anyways, uh, that was my exhaustive research on low rise jeans. <laughs> so if you're watching this and you are plus size and you have bought low rise jeans and they've actually been low rise for you, let me know where, because I really do want to try them, especially in the flare style like this. Like I, I think it maybe could work, <laughs> but you know what? Even though both of the jeans that I bought aren't gonna work for testing the low rise style. I think we should still do the photo shoot with just, you know, the pair I have. The American Eagle jeans are definitely a lower rise. And we can have fun with the flare too. Like that, that's definitely new for me. Well, not really new, cause I definitely wore flare jeans in elementary school, but like new, new to me now. <laughs> Actually wearing them and moving around in them, they have shifted down a bit to a much lower rise than I would normally go for. And I don't hate it. I think it looks really cute, especially, I, I really like the way I styled it. It feels very on trend. It feels very Y2K. And although the flare isn't what I'm actually testing, I'm low key here for the flare jeans. I think they're really cute. I actually like these jeans enough that I think I'm gonna spend the time and the money getting them tailored so they're a better length because they are a little bit long. Never would I have thought that I'd feel this comfortable showing this amount of midriff. Usually I show way less with a crop top, but I think it's cute and I feel pretty comfortable and pretty confident. So I'm not gonna say I'm like excited for low rise jeans to come back, but I'm, I'm more into it than I thought I would be. <laughs> Thank you.
So there you have it, my attempt at styling some trends that you guys just don't like at all. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments if your thoughts on any of these styles changed throughout the course of this video, or if there's anything that I tried that you wanna style, I would love to know. But yeah, that's it, that's all I have for you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Be confident, be kind to your body, and I'll see you next time. Bye!